Hi, right, Chala One. First and foremost, I would like to begin this lesson by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations goes out to the elect. Alright, this here is the brother I'm a one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit. And power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And um, this lesson will be going based off of the, the, the temple. Alright, the, the temple that um, our Lord. The, the, the temple. Alright, the, and the instructions and how. Um, very selective and very carefully and well put together the temple is because why I was reading through um, the kings not too long there and you're seeing the temple that Solomon built all right you're seeing it how um, careful and particular he he was um, selecting out and even the builder that he chose he chose the best builder and, uh, that he knew around back that and in that time which was Hiram because he wanted something special <laughs> it had to be special it's just like the the um the, ta the tabernacle in the wilderness Moses was instructed in particulars how to build it how to um, mount it up and in order to build it all right let me get this precept here um first king chapter 7 and verse 13 it says and solomon sent and fetched because i in transit right now but we have to read light so i can read and Solomon and King Solomon sent and fetched Hiram out of Tyre. He was a widow's son of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in brass, and he was filled with wisdom and understanding and cunning to work all works in brass. And he came to King Solomon and wrought all his work. See, but what what going on? What I, now? Now, that don't mean he had the Lord's Holy Spirit on him, but he had wisdom in that in that particular field and an understanding to know how to get proper the right way now, boy. And that is how you are to be in order to, because that is what that is how men was back then in order to construct the tabernacle. All right. In order to construct the tabernacle in the wilderness, that is how men was. You had to have that. Right? Exodus the thirty-first chapter and the third verse. Um. I read from the first verse. It says, "And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called." By name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the spirit of the Most High. Now it is different. He filled with the spirit of the Most High in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner workmanship to devise cunning works, to work in silver, to work in gold and in silver and in brass. So he was filled with. So in order to to construct the Lord's temple or his tabernacle what do you have to have what must, what must one be filled with because it's a serious thing the heavenly father dealing with in a very meticulous I, I don't look up the meaning of that word the meaning but I know it mean it have a good meaning behind it I don't know data right now Data. I don't know data. Plus my phone on airplane mode. But it, it particular. 
It dealing with particulars. It, it's specific as to what the Heavenly Father wants for his construction of his temple. And he's getting selected men to build it. And the 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 the, the story <laughs> The story and change just like Ezekiel the 47 chapter I believe not, not the 47 chapter but not, not, not specifically the 47 chapter but Ezekiel the chapters in Ezekiel that deal with the construction of a, 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 a temple that was the second temple that was the temple that Zerubbabel and them had to construct all right that was that temple and because the first temple was burnt by the Edomites, as it tells you in, sec in first Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, and Ezekiel, um, in Ezekiel, like the forty-first chapter, the forty-fortieth, forty-first, forty-second, yeah. Even they and what is showing you a particular work how they are to build is not to just come in the Lord's temple or construct the Lord's temple and build any old way. That is not possible. Alright? It's not possible. The Lord don't want that. And the, the story and change in the construction of this third temple that we are in here right now, which is the men of the Lord. The story and change, the method and change, everything is the same way. The building process is the same way. In order to build, you must have the spirit of the most high in you in order to be part of the construction right and you must be filled with wisdom and understanding and knowledge you must have that even even Hiram had it as we just read right even Hiram had it now Hiram Hiram was a heathen Hiram was a heathen but not because he's a heathen the most high wouldn't give him wisdom and knowledge all right the Holy Spirit is for Israel. That is our that the Lord gave us them angels to minister unto the men of the Lord. But the Lord could fill our heathen with wisdom and knowledge. And give him understanding too. Nothing wrong with that. Right? Nothing wrong with that. And Hiram had it. And in order for us. To be part of this construction of this building right now, because we are building this third temple. This third temple is a particular thing. We had to be particular, just like the rest of the construction. The tabernacle was with particulars. Even the Most High, Yahweh, he informed Moses. He told Moses, he said, "Hey, see that you build it. This tabernacle, just like I showed you, it in the mount. The same exact way." shouldn't be off it can't be off right it must not be off it must not be off in this or in that everything that i tell you and show you how to build it build it the construction of the temple with with with, with um king solomon it was particular it wasn't no wishy-washy do as thou wilt nah the lord, the lord never deal with that lord deal with the particulars and it's the same thing with this with this temple that we build in here it specifies the Lord was eating in our order that's why the scripture say in, in, in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 40 1 4, 4 let everything be done decently and in order the Lord wants his things in an order alright Outer order, he don't fly with outer order. He don't fly with indiscipline. Being niggerly. That is how we are to build in this temple. We cannot be niggerly. We cannot be indiscipline. Ill-mannered. This is not how the Lord wants. This is not how the Lord wants us to be. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, He also has lively stones are built up his spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer of spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the most high by Yahawashai Hamashiach Yahawashai our Lord he was the one who built was commissioned to build our first temple to Yahweh. he was the one commissioned to build that first temple to Yahweh. 
if you could receive it. Yahweh Shai our Lord. Alright? Yahweh Shai the one ya. He or at a one hour rather Yahweh Shai our Lord. He was King Solomon. Malak Shalama. Alright? In the reincarnation, in the regeneration, Yahweh Shai back then was King Solomon. David even bowed himself on the bed. When you read it, you gotta read it. David bowed before Solomon. He was commissioned to build a first temple. <laughs> that first temple. The Edomites burned it. He also got the commission to build this, the third temple. Alright? He got the commission to build the third temple. But this third temple is not going to be build, built with no with, with man's hand. This third temple is being built with the men. Yahweh Shai is the head. And we had a build on his he laid the foundation just like when you read in, in, in um uh, first kings Solomon laid the foundation right he laid the foundation in, in, in his in the fourth year of his reign Yahweh Shai he laid the foundation for us to build on right he laid the foundation right and we have to be building on him in particulars because the, speci the specification the specs was already shown us that the Lord will play when it comes to the construction of his temple and we being his temple we had to take care of ourselves you understand we cannot just do as we feel like because then we wouldn't be a part of the construction of his temple because we are stones in that building the stones had to be proper because when I read it them stones was proper them stones wasn't any old stones that you see here just pick up and you know they were, they were precisely hewing the stones to make it proper for the building for the construction so we have to be with wisdom with understanding with the spirit of the Lord within us and building on this foundation Yahweh Shai he come and laid the foundation righteousness that is what we have to do that is how we have to be that is how we have to build in righteousness if we are building in wickedness, wickedness, <laughs> the script just say, throw our thoughts separate from the most high. The Lord will deal with wickedness. You understand? The Lord do not deal with wickedness. He only deals with righteousness. Righteousness, my brother. Righteousness. You see me? This wouldn't be no long, long video because I uh, nearly reached back up the road here. Yeah. But I hope you get the point that I'm trying to convey through the spirit. Alright? It's a particular, the Lord very particular with this construction. So we had to be particular being a part of this, this new form of construction which is the temple. The men of the Lord building. Care be on doing your own thing. So that's why the scripture talk about running from adultery. Care be murderers, you can be backbiters, you can be um, haters of men, you can be doing them thing. It's, it's, it's with love. It's because the particularness at the construction of the temple, it's showing that 
It's showing love. It's show Cause even watch, the Lord didn't just put his earth together. He took his time. You're seeing love within it. And the Lord is love. God the most I is love. So everything you had to do with for the Lord, you're putting love within it, effort, energy, zeal. You understand? So again, hopefully we're edified. Until the next time, Shalom to the elect. I come and stay strong. Death to Babylon for sure. Forever and ever. Death to Babylon. All the time. Every day. Every single day. Every day of the week. Every, <laughs> every second of the day. Every millisecond of the, of the second. Death to Babylon. Right? Every minute and every hour. And every hour of the day. Death to freaking Babylon. Peace to the Lord. Shalom. Hopefully you were edified. Kala la liam la ya hawa ba asham ya washai ba asham a kakwadash. Forgive me the understanding to do this lesson. Again, hopefully you were edified. And double out the apostles. And the laws of great minstone. Shalom.